Good evening, my research students. So this time, I will teach you how to set up your Google Forms uh, prior to sending it to your respondents. So here, first you open your Google Forms by opening your uh, email account. Uh, you can type in your browser uh, forms.google.com or you can just open directly it to your Gmail account and you go to your Google Drive. So after you open your forms, you can um, click in this area here, yeah, settings. So here we have uh, three tabs. So these tabs, we have general, presentation, and quizzes. So first, let's talk about the general tab. Here, there are options. You can collect email addresses. So you can also require the respondents to sign in. Uh, restrict users in Lourdes College and its trusted organizations and limit to one response and respondents can also edit it after um, they submit so I suggest you check this um, option the collect uh, email address this will automatically create an email collection tab in your survey so if you check this you don't have to manually create a text box that will collect emails in your forms so here you can also check uh, response receipts um, this means that uh, it will send a copy of the respondents uh, responses uh, to, to their emails okay so you can just uncheck this uh, here you can also check this one um, or uncheck this uh, since um, your respondents are not from Lourdes College which uh, requires using LCCDO email so I guess they're using their personal Gmail account so just uncheck this and you check this one limit to one response only uh, since um, um, it will um, not allow respondents to resubmit again or answer again your survey so if this is the case it might uh, become it might make your survey unreliable no? so if there are repeating respondents so it might uh, give a bias to you to the survey okay so you can also check this uh, edit after submit uh, it means that um, prior to submitting their responses, they can check their um, responses and uh, review it uh, prior to submitting it. Next, we have here presentation. Okay, so you can check this. Uh, show progress bar. Okay, just uncheck this. Shuffle question order. And this one also. And here you can uh, set up your confirmation message. This message will display once your respondents will finish uh, the survey. So you can, for example, you can set this one here. You can type here, uh, thank you for your participation. Your response is recorded. So the third tab here um, is quizzes tab. So just ignore this. This is only applicable if you're creating a form for quizzes. So after setting all the tabs here, then you can click save. So after saving it, we can now send this to your respondents. So how to send? You can just click this area here, send. Okay, so you can uh, send it by uh, email here if you know the emails of your um, respondents um, you if you can collect the emails of your respondents and then you can just type it here or the easiest one is you're going to go to this area here and you can just copy the link of your survey this is convenient if you have social media accounts you can just share the link there uh, to your um, intended respondents 
so here um, the link will be automatically produced so this is a very long link if you want a shorter one then you can just click this shorten URL okay so it's now short then just click copy okay once it will be copied you can just paste it there in your social media media account or you can also um, paste it to your um, emails uh, then send it to your respondents okay so that's it that's how to set up your um, Google form so I suggest you set up first your form prior to sending it to your respondents so I hope that you learned today so in prepare preparing your forms be sure to set it up first uh, all the options that I have shown earlier please follow that prior to sharing it to your respondents thank you and goodbye